Hi guys, I'm assuming you came over from my planning video for our geography unit and I just wanted to split this up into a separate video because that video was getting kind of lengthy. So if you came here without seeing it, you might want to see that video first because then this one will make a little bit more sense. But even if it stands alone, it I mean, you'll get the gist. I'm basically going to refill our work boxes for this new unit study and I thought I would just talk you through how we do it just in case it is somewhat helpful to you. So I have my table of all of my resources that I'm going to use to stuff our work boxes with and I'm just going to get started. Once my unit is all planned out into my planner, I can close it up and get started refilling my work boxes. So here I have all of their notebooks that I emptied and I'm going to refill their work boxes with. I normally take them out at the end of the week to check any work and fill them with anything that I need to pre-prep for them. This time I didn't have anything to pre-prep them with so I'm just going to be sticking them right back into their um, work boxes. Then I have their binders here. I do the same thing with the binders. I clean them off. I clean them off, I insert anything that needs to be inserted there, and then I get them ready to go back into their work boxes. I have all of our resources that we use for curriculum. I bookmark the pages and I place them in different work boxes so that they can use them to work together. And I'll show you more of what I mean by that soon. So I have that. Then I go around my schoolroom and find anything that will lend itself to what I want them to learn, anything that will be fun in addition to what we have scheduled. The first thing that I normally do is grab some music and put it on because music for me helps me get out of my head and into my heart and helps me just really explore things that are beyond what I planned um, because I like to put things inside of their work boxes obviously that will help them um, complete the work that I have laid out for them but I also want to put other things in there that might spark their um, creativity and their interest and their desires and whatever just yeah <laughs> so I normally just grab my music box with my music and this time I think we went to see sing last weekend and we've been having a lot of fun listening to that so I've been really um, digging this Tori Kelly don't you worry about a thing <laughs> Get into how we get through this. Um, I normally go by subject, so I start on the top row, and the top row for us is Bible. So, so going from the top to the bottom by subject, and I just go across in each of their work boxes and just fill them up. So they already have their Bibles inside of their Bible work box, and I just take it, open them up right on the top. Thank you, babe. Just open up their work boxes. And I just stuff them. So they already have their VeggieTale Bible inside. Savannah does not have a Bible inside of hers because she needs a new one. It, we broke it. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. So, um, don't have a Bible for her, but I do have the action bible that we're going to be using a lot during this um doing this unit so um just for the sake of her having a bible in her bible i'm going to put the action bible in hers then another thing for bible we're doing is we're studying daniel so in the lion's den and i laminated these to put inside i'm just going to go ahead and slide these into her work box and I'm actually gonna take the action Bible and put it in Cameron's work box because that might be a little bit much for her. So I'm gonna put the VeggieTales Bible in there with the um, Daniel cards as well. And then I have the rest of the items that I got from the same place 
was a little story time coloring sheets and they went through the story of Daniel with the scriptures attached and so what I'll do here to create more dependent work where they're depending on one another in order to complete their work is um, instead of printing three of these out and giving one set to each child I have found that even though they're all in different grades this works so well for my kids I have found that if I print one set out so it's one completed story and then I split it up into three well kind of split it up into three because I give the majority of the pages to the boys and then I give Savannah a few pages but she always likes to be doing what they're doing so it just works out so great so I'm just going to split these up into parts and they're just little sheets where they'll get to go and um, color them in and read the stories together so they're really cute and I'll put the link in the description box of where I got these from and so I'll add these to each of their work boxes okay and then the last thing that I'm going to be adding for a Bible is just their Bible notebooks and just put them right in there um, sometimes I include their devotionals inside of here as well but lately I've been because sometimes I'll just take on too much all at once and so lately I've been leaving their devotionals out of their work boxes and letting us do the devotions before we get into school time so this they just need there, I don't see you. there. so then Bible is done I close them up and then I just put them right back in. And of course, this is a lot easier if I'm not talking, but you know, it is fun to talk to you guys, but it runs a lot smoother if I'm not trying to talk through it. But um, then I take out their reading and writing work boxes. The only thing that's in here right now is just their pencil cases, which I need to get Savannah one, so Savannah doesn't have a pencil case. But I basically just open those up Okay, now for their reading and writing, I'm just going to be including their um, notebooks. And then Savannah's, there you go. And then along with their notebooks, I think, what did we have? Oh, I include their binder. So this is Cameron's binder. Cameron's, and this binder, and then Savannah's binder. Um, along with what I put in there, I will also put um, books that we have gotten from the library. So I'm going to go grab those. But um, so I grab our books that we got and then I put whichever book I feel like is appropriate for each child inside of their boxes. So I've got Dodsworth in Rome, Off We Go to Mexico, I Live in Tokyo, um, wait. Yeah, I live in Tokyo. So I think that Kendall would be mostly interested in the I live in Tokyo. Cameron, probably the walk in New York because he has shown interest in New York. And then Savannah, this Dodsworth looks super cute, so I'll probably put that into hers. Savannah normally picks up all the girly books, so I'll probably throw in a nice little cute pink girly book into her work box. And then that is it for our reading work boxes. There's one thing I forgot in the reading work boxes, which I will put into Savannah's work box, is our banana grams. So normally I have a set of letters that I keep at the top of the boys' um, closet in their room. And they're just a bunch of different types of letters. We've got bananagrams, we have applegrams, we've got paragrams, and then I've got lots of cork letters and things. So normally, I get out a different set of letters. So I'll, I'll just pick applegrams this time around and I just stuff them inside of her work box. And, um, I just have her spell basic words and her name with those. Then the next work box is math. So I'll pull out the math work boxes. Okay, 
Now her ma the math work boxes, we're just gonna be using the same books we normally use, the time and money and the mathematics. So in order for them to be dependent, we're gonna be doing them together, but I'll just put one resource in Cameron's, one in Kendall's, and then I will put all of the, I got our math box out, one of our math boxes. And we've been, they've been doing an exceptional job with addition. So one of the things, in addition to what I have planned for us to discuss in math, is we're gonna start focusing on subtraction. So I just take out the subtraction card, add them to Savannah's work box, as well as some counting cubes. So I'll add those to Savannah's work box. Counting cubes. Because in order for the boys to use them, they're gonna have to go to her and then they will end up working together and that whole deal. So that works out well. So I'll just put the counting cubes in there and then I will also put the um, clock that we got out of our My Father's World curriculum um, that I shared that we tried and did not love or just did not work for us, but we use a lot of the resources. So that came out of there and we will use this in addition to this time and money book but I will be putting this in Savannah's um, work box in math notebooks that is Kendall's this is Cameron's and then Savannah's Savannah doesn't have a notebook for every single thing but I try to use like two notebooks that she can feel like she's doing the same thing so she normally ends up coloring in them or she'll write her numbers in her math notebook things like that so but there's one more thing that goes in her notebook and I got these a while ago probably towards the beginning of our homeschool journey and um i'll get the box out to show you later but anyway these are the math fun books and i normally just pick one for her to be able to read through with me and we talk about it so i think we'll just go ahead with minute um so i'll just go ahead and put the minute book inside of her math her box and there's math work buttons. Okay, we're getting there, you guys. We're getting there. <laughs> okay, so next up is our science and history. So I'll open that up. Science and history, I used to call it nature and animals, but it's science and history. So that's opened up, and what we're going to be doing there is we are going to be doing the world animals. So what I'm going to do is put all of the hands-on pieces inside of Savannah's work box. Then I'll put all of the stickers, the stickers that we're gonna be using inside of Kendall's work box. And then I'll put the actual book that we're gonna be reading from inside of Cameron's work box. And then same thing with their notebooks. Kendall's notebook, Cameron's notebook, and Savannah's. Well, I'll just leave Savannah's notebook out of it because she'll be fine here. In addition to that, I'm also going to put their factivity books inside. So I will put the animal factivity book inside of Cameron's and the science factivity book inside of Kindle's. And it really doesn't matter who has who. Um, sometimes it does matter. I try to pay attention to um, different things that they're better at or they're good at or they would love to take um, ownership or responsibility over and I will choose one over the other. I can't think of an example right now so that, that is all that's going to be going in those work boxes so I can close those up and put those away. Sometimes I might have books that we actually got that go with that subject. So say if I had a history book, like we will be working on Jane Goodall, but I didn't pick up any Jane Goodall books this time around. Um, I ordered them, but um, I haven't gone over to pick them up. But when I do go pick those up, the Jane Goodall books will go inside of their um, history work box. So, we're almost there, you guys. <laughs> Actually, we kind of are there because I don't think I'll be filling up their art. Yeah, I don't think I'll be filling up their artwork boxes this time. So this is their geography boxes and obviously our unit is on geography so there's going to be a decent amount of stuff inside of this, um, these work boxes. So basically I'm going to start with, going to start with their maps. 
that we laminated. So each one of them will get a map. Each one of them will get a map. Then the next thing is our passport. So each one of them will get a passport and then Kimmel's passport. Then I will also get their notebooks, Kendall's notebook, Karen's notebook, and I got these little cute globes from Michael's in one of those little bin sections. It's not like a dollar section, it's just some of that stuff is definitely more than a dollar, but so cute. There we go. So I have one for each of them, so I'm just gonna pop those in there. And then another thing we have is, we got this Junior Explorers kit in the mail. Um, it was one of the free uh, trials and we haven't used it just yet. So I'm going to open this up and we're going to use that. I think I did have this in one of our hauls, um, but again, it was the free trial and we just never got around to doing it. So we're going to, um, if we get some time to get into it and they notice it in their boxes, we'll get into that. So I'll just go ahead and grab that and put that into their boxes. Now what I do with this, since I just have one, is I do the same thing. I'll split it up into three so that each one of them has a portion of it. So here is the field guide and I'll put that in Cameron's work box. And here is the map. I'll put that in Savannah's work box. And then here is the rest of the packet. I'll put that in Cameron's work box. And then it also came with one of these little water bottles. Junior Explorer's water bottle and so I'll go ahead and put that in Cameron's work box but I also had another one it's not a Junior Explorer's so I'll put that in Kendall's work box and I'll find Savannah one as well yeah I think that's it I think I filled up all of their work boxes the last work box that I have left is art and art pretty much stays the same um, unless we're working on something new so for right now what's in their artwork boxes I'll just show you so what's in their artwork boxes right now is their mixed media notebook. And then also they have soft pastels in their work box. Um, the rest of our art supplies are up in the um, cabinet. I mean, up in the closet, in the top of the closet, as well as over in a little, I don't know, little art supply organizer so that's where all of our chalk is all of our paint brushes are all of our paint is and so this is just what we have in here so yeah you guys that is basically it and anything that doesn't anything that we're using for the unit that it does not go in their work box just goes into my little um curriculum bin so like we're using the computers and coding for computers but we don't have a computer's work box so we are just I'm just gonna slip it into my little curriculum bin along with anything else, any you know, other types of odds and ends that don't fit into our work boxes. So, I know this was long. <laughs> I know this was long and I'm sorry. Anyway, I hope this was somewhat helpful to you just to see what, we, what I do for filling up our work boxes. I'm really excited about the unit. The kids are starting to get louder and louder in the background, so. <laughs> probably need to go and hang out and handle that whole situation but um thank you guys so much for watching if you like videos like these let me know um if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments or just you know reach out to me on instagram on instagram i am serena b it's s-y-r-e-e-n-a-b as in boy um you can reach out to me there you can of course leave a comment here um underneath the description box <laughs> and if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know and make sure that you're subscribed if you would like to see more videos from us as well as if you want to make sure you're getting the notifications when we post just hit that little bell button beside the subscribe button and they will let you know every time I actually get the video uploaded. So um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, especially if you endured through the first part of the planning video and then this workbox video. But um, yeah, so thanks. <laughs>
Also, if you want to try out the planning pages, just remember that I have them loaded on the blog, and that is at serenabblog.com backslash homeschool. I'll also just leave the uh, link directly to them in the description box below, and let me know if you have any trouble with them. I'm hoping that they work out well. Um, I got a little help trying to figure out how to put them on my blog, so hopefully they are uploading correctly or downloading correctly for you guys, and let me know if they are helpful to you. But hopefully they are helpful. Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.